We are here at the San Francisco de las Tejas Mission in East Texas. It was built in 1690, the original building was. This is actually a replica built in the 1930s. Now remember, Spain had been building a chain of missions throughout the Pueblo world, uh, throughout New Mexico for almost a century. Texas had never really been a priority for Spain, but that would change as a result of its imperial rivalry with the French and the news that a French explorer, La Salle, uh, had arrived in the area and built a fort in Matagorda Bay. So at that point, Spanish officials were intent on settling the area as quickly as possible, and they would rely upon the same formula that they had used in New Mexico by using Franciscans to build missions throughout the area. And they first came here to East Texas, to the Caddo world, where the largest uh, concentration of indigenous peoples could be found. I think it's fair to say that the uh, effort was uh, not a success. Uh, after almost 100 years, uh, Franciscans had uh, very little to show for their efforts. Perhaps more than any other region of the Americas, uh, Texas revealed the, um, the limits of Spain's ability to remake uh, the New World in its own image. So today, I want you to think about the challenges that Spain faced in its efforts to colonize Texas.